All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm about halfway done through grading the lab portions. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, today we are doing, we're looking at the STL and MAPS one. And he, uh, Redden's got a, a nice little like short video for each. We're gonna start with the one with Liz. And if you wanna look at the one for MAPS later on to see what he did, I suggest doing it, but we're gonna do our own thing for MAPS when we get to MAPS. Uh, so copy and paste this bad boy into your code and we'll take a look at it and then we're going to add shit to it, add a little more stuff about inserting and stuff like that. Where are we? So give you a second to get that going. Just the first one. All right, uh, assuming everyone's got it, it's got a generic person class, first name, last name, gender, age. We've seen this in several times before. I'm not gonna go over it. If you don't remember, I don't know how you're gonna make it through college. So, Cause that's like, we've seen it a lot. You don't have to re like remember what each one is, but the name should tell you what they are and the get set methods we've done repeatedly. Uh, the variables for some reason are put below. I'm going to put them above because that's just how I roll, but you can leave them where they were. I like seeing variables right away. Then we come down, there's a display function. Uh, I'm sure we'll get to see what that does in here. Uh, let's see, let's move that a little bit to the side right there. Let's minimize that. So the zoom things out of the way. Uh, okay, so list, we're looking at list. We need to include list. In fact, I'm gonna put on there include map right now too, because that's where we're going next. And I think you're gonna like map. I really do. So it just looks like all the other includes, but you put map. So, we make a list, we're gonna do person pointers. Uh, and we have something called the iterator. We, this is like part of list thing as we're scoping it to list. It has an iterator uh, command in it. And we talked about iterators before, they act, they're a data type, data type that acts as a pointer. So we talked about this on Monday. Data type that acts like a pointer. You'll notice that adding stuff to a list is like adding to a vector. We do push back. We do, since it's a pointer list, we need to do no person. And since we see a bunch of new peoples, new peoples, we will need deletes later on. Not the deconstructor. I saw a couple people uh, on the first question of the first lab were instead of doing delete the thing, they were they called the de deconstructor, destructor, destructor for each one. And not just the destructor. I don't even know. Do we have a destructor on this one? We don't have a destructor on this one. Uh, we don't even, yeah. Uh, destructors are really just like a way to ha add more code that runs when you do delete. So when you delete, you get a free destructor call. Oftentimes you'll only see a C out in there like item destroyed or, you know, person eliminated or whatever the fuck it is, but you don't see delete in it because it's not actually deleting the thing. So don't do de 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 not deconstructors, destructors. It should be deconstructors. Destructor just sounds like, that sounds like some transformer shit. The fucking destructor cons. 
Yeah, I grew up on that shit too. All right, so uh, you want to do deletes. So ID, the iterator, we're going to set it equal to the beginning of the list using begin. Dot begin gives us the first object in the list. In this case, Mary. So since we use pointers to do this, we're going to need to dereference to get access. So I'll dereference the iterator. And we'll hit display. Let's see what happens. So it only shows Mary because that's all Mary points to. We didn't actually do any iterating yet. So let's add in how we would use this. While itr does not equal my list dot end. We can use the, just copy and paste that itr.display. I'll comment that out above. And we will iterate, oops, itr. Okay, pretty straightforward. Same stuff we've been doing, just a little slightly different. Lists are very much like vectors. It's worth going and looking at the list section to see what else list adds. There's a convenient link to it in the Canvas course. If you click on, oh, wait, wait, we're not doing map yet. We want list, click on list real quick. We got constructors, destructors, empty size, max size, front and back. So access the first element, access the last element. How is that different from begin and end? Begin and end are the iterator ones. So they are different. Begin and end go with iterating through it. If we want to just do regular straight access, let's do that real quick. Uh, we could do my list dot or see out my list dot front. Nope, not see out my list. It's my list dot front and then dot display. So that should access Mary and run Mary again. Let's add, add out another couple C outs or end lines just so it separates a little bit. And we could do a my list dot end back, sorry, not end back dot display. So we get Mary and Jerry. Ooh. 
list has something else that's nice in it too. Let's go find it real quick. We've got push, we could push front and push back. Insert, swap, erase. These are all worth checking out. We're gonna just look at insert for now. List insert. So it goes off iterators. And the, the, the basic one is the iterator position and something to be added in it. Uh, skimming through this, the container is extended by inserting new elements before the element at the specified position. So it's always worth reading going, where is it putting it? Is it before or after? It's got to insert somewhere. So it's going to insert before. So we could come in here and we could say, we want to add somebody before Jerry. Let's add somebody before Jerry. Uh, my list dot insert. And Jerry's at the back. So I'm gonna say my list dot back to tell it I want it before Jerry. And what goes in this list is a person pointer. So I need a new person. Let's just come up here, copy this information and change the, the, the data real quick. New person, Mary, we'll call it one. The goat. Uh, o is, I think, for females. He's a male. I think that second number was a, is, is it, or the first number is a gender. Yes. Mary's female. Bill and Jerry are males. And the 22 is age. I think he wants 24, he said, I think. Why don't you like my list? Insert. What am I doing wrong here? Try running it. Oh, my list out back is not a position. It's a content. Uh, so iterator is at the end. Right now, I'm going to put in iterator. And I'm missing another parentheses. There we go. One parentheses for new person, one to go with insert. So let's just make a quick note of that. Insert does position and then object to be inserted. <coughs> And maybe we should say a little bit more about this position. Uh, object to be inserted, well, object to be inserted before the position given. That way I have a little note in our code reminding us what we're doing here. And we need to do the print list again. Let me bring this back down. And let's set ITR back to my list.begin. So it starts at the head again.
All right. So let's run it, see what happened. It added after. What is this bullshit? It said before. Uh, let's come out back up right here and oh, this is actually taking us. This takes us past end. So this is doing it at the end of the list. So ITR is not at Jerry right now. ITR is at the end of the list. It's interesting, it's good to know. So if we wanted to insert before Jerry, we'd need to edit this or need to search for Jerry and find the uh, pointer to his location. Do we have a nice little search function here? Well, I don't know. Let's go look. Sort we're going to do in a little bit. I was going to make another list to do it real quick. All right, we know how to search for these things. And I think it's going to take more time than I want to show on list. Uh, because we've done the search for in our, our own link list. So you iterate through until you find the pointer to it and we stop there. Uh, I'm going to make a quick list here for something different. So list string. And we'll call it my games. And I, I think I need to go up and include string because I don't think I have them included. This, excellent. I guess we got names in there, so it should be. So see how it on strings. And so what games do I like? I'm going to push back. Well, we all saw that I like Dark Souls 3. We'll just say Dark Souls in general. Gustavo's not even paying attention. I bet this is not my game. This is, He seems like a Fortnite fool. What do you play? Okay. Uh, I like Zelda. Zelda's good shit. Uh, what's another good one? Ooh. Uh, what's the Shadows Die Twice? What's the What's the first part of the name? Thank you, Will. Shadows Die Twice. And. Uh, I like Metroid, the Metroid series. I like the Horizon Zero West series or Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn series. I haven't played West yet.
And I'm going to throw in an iterator. That way I can come up here and I can copy this shit and just edit it to match up to go with what this one is. My ITR, my games. We don't have a display function for this though, do we? So maybe we'll do C out. And get rid of the display part. And that's gotta be my ITR. And that's gotta be my ITR. Everyone ready for a run? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Anybody else any longer? All right. All right, we got the games listed down there. They're not in order. Let's let's see what we can do about fixing that. I want some more end lines here at the end. I hate having that big wall of crap at the end. That's just me. So let's come back over here and look at what we have for lists. We have a sort command. So it's just, just say sort. Looks like just sort. Let's come back over here and do that. Rather than redoing it again, let's just do my games dot sort. And now they're in alphabetical order. And I think we could do a little thing in here to test and insert. We could say if uh, dereference my ITR equals, we'll say horizon zero dawn. Nope. We want the one before it. Then uh, we're going to do my game. We're going to insert here. 
my games insert. I'm going to insert it before the next one. So I'm going to say my ITR plus plus, and I'm going to insert uh, Fortnite here. I don't play Fortnite, but Fortnite goes comes before Horizon. F is before H. This is just testing an insert thing real quick for the middle of the code. <coughs> Can we do find our insert, like do the my ITR plus plus? Say go to the next one and then insert before it. Oh, wait, I need another in parentheses there and one less here. There we go. Because I'm dereferencing and then comparing. Oh, it got mad. What is this shit? What happened to Dark Souls? Where's Fortnite? None of that shit. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe doing my ITR plus plus doesn't work like that. Let's try this. Uh... String... Iterator <laughs> temp. I'm going to say temp equals my ITR plus plus. And try temp there. Nope, I don't like that shit. Rude. We'll comment that out. Uh, figure this out for practice for homework. How to insert. I think I can do it without the C out list. The easiest way would be just do without doing the C out. Cycle to what I wanted to do, like find horizon zero dawn, then set temp equal to that one's pointer. <coughs> All right, you guys ready to try something new? All right, so arrays were nice because we had indexing, right? We could throw in a number, we get out the fucking value. Vectors and lists are expandable at runtime, but they don't have indexing. So like arrays are nice, but they're fixed size, they're a pain in the ass. Vectors and lists are nice because they can grow. Maps. Maps do both. So. Say what? It's a pain in the ass. Work with me here. Just, just STFF. Okay. Yeah. 
SCF have? What the fuck is that? I meant SCFU. <laughs> All right, see you out, Alan. All right. I'll do, uh, I'm going to just make a little thing here. Maps. So maps work like this. You install say what a key is and the value is. So like, if I do, let's take a look at example with the people that we had up top. We had the, we have the people list up top. We didn't comment it out. And let's say, Let's see, what names do we have up here? We had Mary, Bill, Jerry, and Juan the Goat. So we had Mary, Bill, Jerry. Let's bring this up over here. Now, this, these are people objects. So I could say, well, let's give them each a code name. Where are we? Back up here. For each one of these, we're going to assign a code name to it. And let's see how I want to do this. So I'm going to say, let's say map. Uh, string person pointer. And we'll call it my map. I'm going to say my map. Uh, and then we're going to use bracket. And I'm going to put in a string here. And Mary, what is Mary's code name? Let's give Mary a code name. What's Mary's code name? She's Black Widow, since no one's giving me a code name. Mary's code name is Black Widow. And we're going to say that applies to uh, let's see. I don't want to use the list I have up above. Do I? Let's make a new person. Uh, what's uh, Black Widow's name? Do we know what? Like, no, no, like in the, the Avengers movies. Natasha Romanoff, right? I think so. I'm changing. That's not Mary anymore. We're going to do, I think it's Romanoff. Code name Hefe. What do you eat right now? My map will make Juan, he's goat. And I think he's 24. OK. 
Okay, so the way I've got it written, the names in brackets or code names that I was using here are the key to accessing the person, which is the value. So if I want to find out, do a little bit on like, I don't need to see out because my map has it. Uh, I can do my map bracket half a bracket slash display. This person has a display function. So half a here is like my index. It's not a number. I can have indexes that are fucking things that are specific, like say username or banner ID or social security number or D and D character name. Juan needs to play a game where his character's name is the goat. That'd be great. He said he was on his way, but that was fucking a while ago and I still don't see his ass. Right? But he said he, he was got it working and he was coming. So here I'm doing them out of order. Uh, specifically, so this bit here is on accessing individual members. The code name is like an index. In an array. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm sure you guys are listed in something like this as banner ID is your user access, like your username, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, numbering them is a bad idea because if you're adding people to them and doing shit like that and the order changes and having a weird number kind of makes it weird. So username works pretty well. Let's hit run, see how it's looking. So even though we put Natasha in first, she's listed second. There's a couple ways to do this. So that's just doing them all individually. So check this out. These are described by map first second that's what's in the system right now so i can say see out let's do a little iterator thing let's go through them all and print them all so i'm going to go uh we've got a map string person pointer and we're going to scope the iterator and let's see, M-I-T-R. <laughs> ITR map. Let's go with ITR map. So I can do, uh, let's say ITR map. Yeah, let's just do it in the for loop. 
but for ITR map equals uh, my map begin. ITR map equals my map end. ITR plus map plus plus. Well, that's fucking just a little sus. Fucking show up fucking 30 seconds apart. It's a coincidence. So I ain't going to judge if you're a couple or anything. I don't give a fuck. Oh, does not equal. There you go. So we're doing maps. That's the good part you just showed up for. You just there's like everything that's on the screen right now, Eli, is what you've missed on map. Okay. They come in two things. A first thing, a second thing. This is like the username. And the second thing is everything else that goes with it. Okay. So like your access code right. and that. Uh, this is replaces indexing. Oh, okay. So we don't need numbers for an index. We can use words or you know anything right. for the index. Does that just keep track of like where everything is? So like display this when you're at this point. And then display that when you're at this point. So you can write, well, you can grab them directly without iterating, okay. without knowing their number. Right. Just knowing their, their name, you can pull out the information. There's a lot more we're going to do with maps. This is the beginning step. Okay. So we're going to iterate through the map right now and print out some stuff. So my map dot first. Is it first? I need to see it out too. It's not jumping to it. Why not? That should be first. <laughs> end is actually not the last person. It's the thing after the last person. So that's why you're stopping right before. Yeah. Do I need to do the arrow operator? Oh. Nope. Gosh, dot arrow. That's not going. Let me run real quick. Oh, it's the wrong fucking. Let's try this again. It's still not grabbing it. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to see out the, the key. So let's go over and look at map real quick. It's the key and then the value. I swear I've used first and second before.
I don't have that in my notes. Second I have. And it's not doing second either. But for some reason it's not linking. Like it's not associating that it's attached to it. So that's kind of it's a little That's what I'm going to try. There it is. I was getting ready to try the deep reverence. So we'll do that. I'll add a little bit to this. I'll say key. And. I'm going to do so it has a little bit of space here just because now I want to do the uh, dereference ITR. I'm going to do second dot display. It might be being finicky. Dot display. Did I not need to do parentheses here? No, I'm not dereferencing. So it's saying that for whatever reason that whatever thing that's on display, it's not. Let's see if it's just going to do the key first. It's not, still doesn't like it. Ah, I don't have parentheses written in my note. I just assumed they were there. Everything has fucking parentheses here. Yeah, I guess it's not a function that's like that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Like, the first isn't a function that's matched. Yeah. 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 Y
Work with me real quick. Let's come up here. Let's make a structure. Structure loot. And all of your loot has a name. And it has a value. And we're keeping it as a structure, so we don't need a lot of other shit. Uh, we'll make a default. What? I'll just send it to the other structure. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I need to add to that. That's not enough. Uh, I guess I'll put some shit in here. Arg1 and Arg2. So name equals Arg1. And value equals Arg2. And that's it. That's our loot structure. So is this working like if, if you like defeat this enemy, you get this loot or? Yeah, uh, let's say shit you killed, you killed bad guys in the game and you picked up their shit. Or you didn't kill anybody, you found a fucking treasure chest. Or, you're or you're a thief and you stole it. Or you're playing a fucking like stupid like farm game and you're growing sh crops. Lame. That's not true. I play a fucking game like that with my wife. She likes it, so I play it with her. All right, so we got this loot structure. Uh, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to make... I'm going to make a... Let's come way down here. We could do something like... make uh, not that. Let's make it a list, and it holds loot. And just seeing how it works, my my loot. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna push back. Like Black Widow, what does she use? She uses batons, right? Spandex suit, right? What do you think her suit's worth? Let's go 500. I need to push back new loot. There we go. And my loot push back. What else does she have? She didn't use anything else. She just might be a fucking bad, yeah, bad example. Do like Thor. <laughs> Let's do Thor. So Thor's got his uh, Viking helmet. And of course, he's got Molnir. That's the name of his hammer. That's priceless, priceless but let's let's put a value on it at ten thousand. If it's priceless, it needs to be zero. Or it has so much value that you can't. But I don't want to say it's zero because, like, like if you tried to sell it, all right. Oh, so the value is like you can put whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. That's not the point of this lecture. Uh, okay, so we could go through and look at the loot real quick. So I can do a list loot iterator. ITRL, we'll set it equal to my loot dot begin. I'm curious, is there a way you could uh, create like a recursive function that creates, that takes up as much space as what the user has? So you could say that that's the value. So like, let's say they have like, I don't know, 3,300 
Probably. Uh, what's the name of his his axe? Stormbreaker or some shit like it. What is it? Is it Stormbreaker? Yeah. Fuck yeah. He would argue it's worth more. Because it worked to beat the bad, uh, the fucking second bad guy. Third bad guy. One of his bad guys. He also fought that big brother. So while ITRL does not equal my loot dot end, we'll just do a quick see out. I don't want to do this. Name. I called it name. Maybe I should change it to item. Name. Uh, why is it not temp? ITR. That's a quick little iterator to go through the list of loot. Just seeing how that shit works. You're right. That's the wrong iterator. That would take forever. Because we'd never go past uh, the Viking helmet. Give everyone a second to get that all like entered in. You're going to have to ask someone that knows all the languages. Yeah. I don't know want Python very well. I'm going to come up here and change this to Thor. Yeah, I didn't know it. Yeah, I know it's Hulk Smash. I didn't have a last name for Thor. So I put Thor in because the reason why is I want to make sure the list was printing correctly. We're going to make a new map. We're going to map, we're going to map our, what was our list of people up here? I'll just put, fuck it. I'll put it, it's the name. And we're going to put in list loot. Equals treasure. Not eagles. Uh, our loot. So how this varies is uh, we got to populate it real quick. So we're going to say our loot. Uh, we use our brackets. We're going to put in Thor here.
And we called my treasure my loot. So this is his loot. We're just going to say my loot. And I'm going to come down here. We already showed that worked. I'm going to comment it out for a second. We're going to do... Uh, for uh, our loot bracket quote Thor dot begin. Uh, our loot bracket Thor dot end, and we want to say not end. Oh, I need my iterator. Making an iterator real quick. Nope. Could it be that maybe it's a different like it's a different I want to go back to the my loot one. Will that work? For the loot iterator. No, it's got to be my map. It's got to be our loot. I'm talking about him. You have to have like a little inside of the What? Let me going on here? That's supposed to work. You reference temp. Because it's a list. The word is just the accessor to the list. It's the key to the list. The word is just so.
Is it ITRL? Yeah, because we don't have, we're not doing a bunch of stuff with the maps. We're just doing Thor right now. What? Because we're, like it's only one item right now. So like right now our loot Thor is a list. So like this, we're not iterating through the map right now. We're just iterating through the list. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense? So this is a list. We need the list iterator. And that's got to iterate correctly. And that needs to be correct. And we'll do name. Value equals. We already got a colon up there. Do semicolon or just a couple spaces. IDRL dot value. I think it might just be telling me red for no reason right here. Let me run it real quick to make sure. Nope, it doesn't like something. My zoom bar is in the way. I got temp wrist listed somewhere. Let's comment that out. Ninety two is off. What's on line ninety two? Oh, I used temp somewhere else. Okay, so we'll uncomment that. We'll call it map temp. There we go. We're not using it yet. I just want to fucking make this print. Why are you not printing? It says name. No, because we didn't have display. The display was for person. I was wondering if it's an arrow. It is an arrow. Oh, the other one already had an arrow. Why wasn't it fucking auto filling in the arrow? You see, this is why you can't rely on the dot auto filling an arrow. That's fucking irritating. Right? There we are. We commented out the other print loot. This is our loot here. So now we could make like a map. So we don't have Black Widow. We have Thor. And he's got a list. And he's got his what do we put in his shit? We put what? Uh, the other print thing where we didn't have Thor referenced. We did the print li print list for or printing uh, the my loot once. And now that I added it to Thor, I'm doing it the same way. I didn't want it to show up on the screen twice. 
So those two things printed the same thing. So he has Viking helmet 500. He had his hammer at 10K and he had his ax at 10,001. I don't know what Juan uses. Juan's equipped with his laptop his broken ass car. And a queen from chess. Right. <laughs> so there's more I want to do this this map stuff. Uh, and I don't know, do I have it scheduled? Let's go look at the let's look at the syllabus when our dates are because we might do this on tomorrow night. Is my night with you guys on Thursday nights? I think it is. Let's see, what is today? It is the 13th. Yeah, tomorrow night at 7.15, I will be on Zoom. You guys can show up if you want. It's gonna be recorded if you wanna watch it later. Uh, we'll do more stuff with this map and this list thing, like make this pimp map list thing. Do it some justice because we just set up Thor right now. The idea is we can like this is effectively just to seal it off what we're doing. We're making a list of people that way. Going down and an expandable list that way. It's really fucking kind of neat, right? Right. And I, all I did on this one was do loot with name and hammer, but we could put make this a person and have like gear, like if you were making a D and D character or like a video game character, you've got body slide, you've got like a body, body armor piece, leg armor piece, foot armor piece. Weapon one, weapon two, or hand one, hand two. Helmet, a ring on each hand. For some reason, they don't want you to have more than one ring on each hand. A neck slot. You could do it like you could make a player, a DD character with name, level, all the shit that we did for your test. We could expand it to give them gear and we could make a list of fucking people. Doing oh this sounds like something fun for maybe no that's that's too big for a test. Uh, yeah, we can do usernames and passwords. Uh, I'll go over doing more with this like this map and this list stuff. It's worth checking out. Let me go back to the module real quick. at home, skim through the other, cause he's got maps or we've got map stuff in here using a, like a, using the name to access the email list. Uh, and then there's another one here with doing a little bit more to it where the name, the email, all sorts of stuff. Take a look at that. We'll do something tomorrow night at 715. If I don't see you till next week or Friday at FNL, have a good weekend. GTFO. <laughs> you showed up just in time to leave. No. <laughs> So I'll make a little comment here. We'll flesh this out more tomorrow night. 7.15 p.m. on Zoom. It will be recorded. I have a question about uh, yeah. part two of the exam. Uh -huh. So I switch ends. I, I switch the inside the object instead of the... That's fine. I, I didn't add the clarification with the pointer. So, so whatever, however you did it, I'm going to go with that.